Hi, I'm Daniel DeGrief with Cambridge Engineering, and today we're going to look at some of the features on the High Efficient S-Series Space Heater Line. Our five common installations are the through wall, rooftop, under roof, indoor vertical, and outdoor vertical units. The rooftop and the through wall are our most common installations. The S-Series units are very flexible and can adapt to many building configurations. This isometric view shows the patented Cambridge blow-through design. Starting with the rain hood, you have the blower mounted right at the intake. The burner is then immediately after that. The heated air then moves through the damper, 90 degrees through the downturn, and out through the discharge elbows. Also shown is the gas train and electric enclosure. This shows how the unique Cambridge blow-through design allows the fan motor, bearings, pulley, damper motor, and other components all to be located in the cold air stream. This significantly increases the longevity of these parts and allows Cambridge to use the high 160 degree discharge temperature. Cambridge designs and manufactures all of our own burners. It has the highest discharge temperature and temperature rise in the industry. There's a five-year warranty on all of our burners. Cambridge utilizes hot surface igniters for lighting the gas in the burner. The high limit sensor and discharge temperature sensor, DTS, are located in the sampling box. Each unit has an ignition system visual port for code purposes. The damper motor and linkage is conveniently located just inside the panel. The discharge damper is a two-position, open or closed operation. The purpose is to minimize airflow through the unit while the unit is not running. This shows the damper in the open position. This is the damper in the closed position. It's shut when the unit is cycled off. The downturn moves the air 90 degrees and into the space. It includes turning vanes to help minimize static pressure loss. Every downturn is insulated to help with noise reduction. The electric control enclosure, or ECE, includes an installation manual with each unit. Also included is a unit-specific wiring diagram sticker located on the inside of the door. The ECE has a voltage divider separating the low voltage on top from the incoming high voltage on the bottom. The back of each ECE is wrapped in non-water absorbing insulation. This eliminates moisture from forming near these electric components. Depending on which installation configuration the unit is set up for, it may require cabinet insulation. We insulate the sides and top of the cabinet with pinned-in fiberglass insulation. The base of all units comes standard with non-water absorbing foam insulation. Each unit ships with a manual shutoff valve. It's located inside, tie wrapped to the gas train for installation on site. A typical gas train has an internal gas regulator, redundant shutoff valves, and a Maxitrol modulating valve. Each model can handle a specific amount of pressure before an external HPR is required. A rooftop configuration typically requires supports under the unit. The inlet side would have a 12 inch rail and a 12 inch stand combination. The rail includes flanges on the bottom that get flashed into the roof structure. It includes a wood nailer under the top cap in which the 12 inch stands get secured to. The discharge side of the unit has a curb that also gets flashed into the roof structure. It allows our discharge duct to drop through the opening and into the space. The counter flashing then sits on top of the curb and mates up to the downturn on the unit. If the curb is being supplied by others, we recommend still providing the counter flashing to help with the installation. There are three cabinet sizes in the S-Series product line. This shows a through wall install and our smallest S-Series cabinet. These models are the S400 and the S800. The next cabinet size includes our S950, S1200, and S1600 models and are slightly larger. Our largest cabinet includes the S1850, S2200, and S3200 models. S-Series units range from 400,000 BTUs up to around 3 million BTUs input. The low side of airflow is 1850 CFM and can get up to around 14,000 CFM. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please contact your regional manager.